Are we gonna address the Edmonds and I mean the elephant in the room? Is this because you got the shock G nose? You call him an elephant, or is this because clearly the man needs a contract extension and he's smooth and I'm still playing it? <laughs> My name is Umpty. <laughs> oh, I love the funky. <laughs> no. It's like I said it yesterday when we were on the live stream once Allen signed his contract. You look at Trey White signed his deal first week of September before the first game. Yeah, it's, that's a great point. This draft, that, that was their first first-round pick. Yeah. You looked at Allen the following year. He got his. Edmonds is gone. Yeah, you see, I, th I see him more as, as John Travolta in Pulp Fiction. <laughs> Hashtag Sports is proud to partner with Mr. Rogers Homes. Sean Rogers is a proud Western New Yorker and is now your Arizona relocation specialist. You can see his reviews as a top 1% agent on Zillow, Homes, and Trulia.com. Go ahead and download his free Arizona relocation guide found in the description of this video. Subscribe to his YouTube channel and, as Sean would say, God bless America and go Bills. Come join Paul and Mario at Diamond Hawk Golf Course Saturday, September 11th for the Hashtag Sports Not So Invitational. Come golf with these idiots in this four-person scramble, which will feature golf with cart, dinner, hole-in-one contest, silent auction, and a live show with all proceeds benefiting Matthew 25 Farms. Registration could be found in the description of this video, and if you'd like to sponsor, email us at htagsports at gmail.com to help raise money for this great charity. You? Are you signing up for that? Yeah, uh, I'm not. Yeah, I'm not. Or, or like Dave Chappelle, y'all any got y'all got any more of those contract extensions? <laughs> Why has that not been a meme yet? I that's a I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> we do have a Twitter handle, and Twitter. thank you, thank you for being here at Hashtag Sports. <laughs> so thank you. Oh Hit that uh, subscribe button and that like button. <laughs> Go ahead and comment how culturally insensitive we are from time to time. Yep, got any more. <laughs> got any more of that contract extension. Let me take care of that real quick. Then this is probably, my reaction right now was probably yours to that. <laughs> is he happy being dog? <laughs> Grow up, bro. Oh my god, I'm dead. Yeah. I can just I see the meme that. right now. Guys, this is why we can only see each other once a week. <laughs> I can't breathe. Oh my god. And there's no great way to Google this. <laughs> it's just Dave Chappelle crackhead. crackhead. That's exactly what you do. You just YouTube Dave Chappelle crackhead. Yeah, that's about to happen. Oh, my stomach hurts. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to do that right now. Here we go. More crowd came down in a bubble time. Oh. You're going to tell me I'm wrong? <laughs> You're going to tell me I'm wrong. Am I wrong? Grow up, bro. <laughs> The fact that the guy's name is Doug just makes it so much better. <laughs> but just put on the thing, just put at main savage be like with dot dot dot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Should we tag the bills? Yes. <laughs> what kind of a question is that? Of course you tag the bills. <laughs> I'm glad you guys are seeing this process. <laughs> this is how this process goes. If one of us cries when we're laughing, <laughs> then it gets posted. Oh, God. Whew. It's like that Bud Light commercial from last year. Again! Again! <laughs> Reese Aroma. <laughs> Again! Again! 
this is probably the behind the scenes. So this is going live to everybody. I'm not even cutting it. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Am, am I right here? Yes. Okay. No Save. No cut more than gotcha. <laughs> it's you brought up you had brought up a contract to me yesterday. It was a huge linebacker deal. I didn't realize that Tremaine and Fred Warner were so close. You know what I mean? I didn't realize it. And, you know, PFF hates Tremaine Edmonds, so I don't think that's fair to judge the, him by that at all because his production compared to where Fred Warner's production is. You is, know who owns PFF, right? Yeah, Chris Collinsworth. Here's a guy. Oh, God. No, I, I'm not, I just did that because it's a funny little nugget of information. I love when, that. What game had Chris Collinsworth on it? It was one what, of the Madden games. What didn't game it? has it? It wasn't, it wasn't one of the Madden games had Chris Collinsworth on it yeah, at one point. Yeah, I think, I think it, but yeah, I brought it up because Warner, he he recently signed a five year, ninety five million dollar extension, which sounds crazy. Five for a years middle linebacker. for a middle linebacker, right? And I think, do they run a three four? Four four three. I'll look it up, but depend. It doesn't matter. It says middle. I, he's probably four three. The point is this: <clears throat> to see that position essentially deval devalued. I mean, the closest contract you can have to that is that there is an extension by uh, Bobby Wagner, who I think is one of the foremost linebackers in the game. I think Bobby Wagner is the best linebacker. Even well, at 31. Well, I, that, that's a thing, right? You start looking at age. Yeah. yeah. But he got an extension. But the point is this. You're looking at Fred Warner. He's at 25 years old, signed a contract extension, five years, $95 million. 40 of that's a like guarantee. Right. You look at the C.J. Mosley deal. I don't think that's one that you can hang your hat on because the Jets were out of their minds at the mm -hmm. time. Uh, that was an $85 million deal, which at I mean, this point. <clears throat> I know. And that's the weird thing, right? So the Fred Warner deal. You look at it, you go, whoa, 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 wait a minute. That's a lot of money. Then you look at C.J. Mosley and go, okay, well, that deal looked crazy at the time, too. Mm -hmm. And there's a there's a huge – there's it's Fred Warner, C.J. Mosley, then literally everybody literally else. There's like a cavern $50 million, right. $70 million. Right. You know? But you look at the age difference between those players, and you have Mosley at 85, and he's in his 30s, right? He's in, up there, yeah. Yeah, he's, getting, he's close to his 30s, if not in his 30s. You have Fred Warner, and a train Edmonds is like 23 years old. Yeah. I mean, we make jokes look at about him. Look at yeah. his second contract at 23. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. Guys but, come into the league at 23. Right. But is that due to see a pay increase? Because you know the longevity is likely there. Is he going to make more money? Or is is that not the scenario that we're in right now? I, I, think, it's, it's I, a, I think it's talking point of the contract. It has to be. Yeah. You, you signed a five, Fred Warner, <clears throat> surrounded by all those first-round picks, mind you. Right. He ended up getting a five-year, $95 million extension. Jermaine Edmonds was two years younger. And has similar statistics across the board. Both have 14 quarterback hits. Both have, like, three picks. Uh, they're separated by, like, nine tackles right. in three years. Right. Uh, playing in completely different systems. Um, so you look at all of that, all that being combined, you're like, well, this kid's got to be worth more. I just don't know if Allen's deal was what it was because they, they mentioned to him that they're also signing for me. Because Allen could have took the bills to the cleaners. He oh, really he could. sure could have. And, and he's giving them two years of salary reprieve. Yes. Right? Because you could you could say, listen, I want that money today. Right now, in my bank account, you're going to restructure this year. Yes. You got, you got, I know how much cap space you got. That's mine now. Okay. <laughs> Next year's cap space, that's mine too. Yeah. Right? Like you could, as he had the leverage to hold them over the coals if he really wanted to. Yes. Because Josh Allen hitting the free agent market. I mean, we're talking a record-breaking deal. He'd probably beat Mahomes' deal in the free agent market. He would. There he would have been a bidding war. He would have beat Mahomes' deal on the free agent market.
because yeah. players like that don't come up on the free agent market, no. right? No. But with all that being said, you now have time to give Tremaine money now. But at 23 years old, if Tremaine were 27, 28 years old, maybe you write a contract that gets him money now. But at 23, is this a scenario where you give him money now? Like, is that is that really what you want to do? You want to start well, getting like it's a weird scenario to be in because it's kind of counterintuitive well the way that it's worked out so far and and correct me if i'm wrong on this trey white played out his current deal he got extended mm-hmm. like he got extended before his current deal was expired right allen same thing's happening with him Deion dawkins same thing with him. Mm-hmm. okay they extended them before their current deal was up right so i expect jermaine to be signed by week one Honestly, like we're, the clock's ticking on this. You know, I'm I'm in a different scenario than you. I look at this and say you have the ability, even though you bought out, like you restructured Allen. You gave Allen sixty million dollars yesterday, right? Yeah. As but as of this recording, it would have been yesterday. Yeah. So you gave him sixty million dollars. You don't have to give Tremaine a dime. Because Tremaine is on, he's on, he's got two years left on his deal. He already picked up his option, which is already guaranteed. So what you do is you wait until next off season. You just take his salary, turning it into a signing bonus, right? So we'll give you the full thing now. You just restruct. You do what you did with Tremaine, or do what you did with Trey. You make him play the fourth year of his deal, and then you you restructure the fifth year. That's you. You already have the framework. You just restructure and extend off the fifth year. Allen allowed you to do that by still only costing you. He's he's taking what he's going to add three mil this year. He's going six mil next six mil net less next year than what he would have been. His cap number is like sixteen mil next season. Allen. Mm. So is Allen's contract structured to get Tremaine an extension because it gives two years of reprieve this year? He's Allen's adding three mil in salary for this year. But next year, he's taking six mil less against the cap. Yeah, because it originally was 23, something like that. Yeah, and now it's now it's like 16. Okay. Is that Tremaine's contract there? Is that the gap? Is that the space? Yeah. It makes sense that it could be, right? Mm-hmm. But I, I think you've already set a precedent with your former first-rounders that if you're going to sign him by a certain day, you sign him by a certain day. But they'll still be doing that. Allen's, Allen's the outlier here. That's what I'm trying to say is Allen's the outlier. Oh, because Allen was extended prior to his fourth year. Right. Everyone else got extended after the fourth year. Exactly. Right. Allen's right. the outlier. I think everybody understands that quarterbacks are just different like this. Yes. Right? Yeah. If Edmonds plays out of his mind, really, how much more expensive could he be? Yeah, there's, there's got to like, be a cap on it. He's not going to be the first $100 million linebacker. Well, at 23 years old, man, yeah, he very well could be. But... But you might be looking at six years. Like Fred Warner at five at ninety-five, Edmonds six at one ten. It's not. It's not that crazy. What? What? Do you know? Remember how we used to have the argument all the time about Mahomes and the Bills trading back? Yeah. Well, they usually should have took Mahomes. I yeah. said no, no. You got Trey White and the resources to get Allen. Oh my God! Are you serious? So you're gonna. So you're. Your counter argument to this is if you take Tremaine and Allen and add them together. And White. And White. Are all three of their contracts going to equal the whole thing? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, probably. Like, seriously. Like, probably, if you, if yeah. you thought about it. <laughs> yeah. Man, that's like that's like bartering down at the farmer's market, you know? like <laughs> the, the, It's so ironic, though. Like, the, the, the what you got for Mahomes – is going to cost you the same as what Mahomes costs. Right. <laughs> right. Would you pay four four hundred fifty million for White, Allen, and Edmonds? Yes. Okay. Then we're in agreement. Yes. For ten years. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's because that's the world we live in nowadays. But you know, I look at Tremaine, and I just I don't know if a contract extension is going to happen for him t- today. No, 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 no. Because I, I think I just, the, you're, you're absolutely funny. right, though. The precedent's set that you play through year four, you restructure year five and extend in year five. Yeah. That's 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 the gap. That's where you do it. Mm-hmm. Allen's contract allows you to do that again because you're taking six mil less, right? 
He's going to give you space to give Tremaine money up front right away. If you want to pay Tremaine early now and kind of offset that salary later, yeah, yeah go ahead and do it. Well, this is why Allen had to happen first because they needed to have that number locked in there into the cap, like into the salary yeah. cap, and be like, okay, now we have to work around this. Right. This is the number we have to work around now. Like in 2024, it was like 47 million or something like that. It was like. Yeah, what his cap number was. Obviously, it could, numbers could be reworked. You can manipulate this, that, and the third. I understand that. We understand that. Mm -hmm. Happens all the time. Mm -hmm. But now you have that solid number of your quarterback, of your franchise, and now what? How can we fit in the spaces around it? Well, and the truth, what are we going to do? And the truth is, Allen's deal is going to be restructured every year to every other year. They're always going to be moving money around in that deal. Because mm -hmm. it's written at a length where the signing bonus money doesn't exist at the end of it, right? Mm -hmm. You only you can only prorate signing bonus over five years. They've done that already with two years that were already existing on his contract. So it's only three years into the new extension, mm -hmm. right? So there's years at the end that you have space for that could you could shut you know slide some signing bonus money to or slide roster bonus money to and have it guarantee. It. You know, if he's on the roster the fifth day of the league year, 2024, he gets a $20 million roster bonus for 2026. Like, you could just guarantee it. Mm -hmm. That's that's what they did with Mahomes' deal, and it makes sense, right, to guarantee roster bonuses later based on, American, yeah. based on you know, where you are on the roster at a different time. Because, it, again, it hides signing bonus money, right? We don't know exactly the structure of the Allen deal, but it's – if you if you take a step back and say, okay, we got Trey, Edmonds, and Allen for the same price as Mahomes, I know everybody loves Mahomes, but I'm sorry, three is better than one, mm -hmm. right? I, I know everybody loves Mahomes, but you, defense, and this is an old adage, go back and watch the last six Super Bowls. What's the old adage? <laughs> Do defense wins championships. Do you have any argument against that? Based off the last six Super Bowls? Let me see here. Hold on. Tom Brady threw for 209 yards. <laughs> okay, the last 12 Super Bowls? <laughs> I know where this is going. Because you have burned into your memory. Like the Ten Commandments, you're like Moses coming down with Tom Brady's Super Bowl stats. <laughs> you're like, allow me to tell you of Tom Brady's 161-yard MVP Super Bowl. Three times in 30 years, a quarterback got the MVP in the Super Bowl. Three times in 30 years, throwing for under 210 yards. Two of those are Thomas Edwards. I'm done. I'm done with him. He threw the Lombardi Trophy more off a boat than he did the last Super Bowl. <laughs> he covered more yardage throwing it from boat to boat. 209. Those were 209 with MVP. Yeah, you're the MVP, Tom. Not that defense. Playing against two, you know, former UPS truck drivers at the at right and left tackle for Kansas City. <laughs> Freaking ridiculous. Yeah, it was all Tom. Yeah, it was. It sure was. Don't get me started on him. <laughs> Hope Trey Hansen kills him next year. <laughs> I'll pay him. Four point fifty million. <laughs> I saw I saw a graphic, and it's it's not really a usable graphic, but it took Tom Brady's salary over twenty one years, and then Josh Allen's new deal, and Josh Allen will be making more money than Tom Brady has over his entire career. Mm -hmm. That's not really equitable, right? Because of the yeah. salary, you know, it's not really an equitable stat, but it is funny um, to to look at it. I've never hated a human being more in my life. And he's never done anything to me. Nope. Not one thing. He just looks like a Twice in your career! Twice! You had a defense that was outside of the top 15. And you didn't make the playoffs either year. So suck it. Okay? Mr. Greatest Game Manager of ever. That's all I give him. He's the greatest game manager, game manager that's ever lived. I can tell how upset you are by how far away your hands get from the steering wheel. Where you're going to stop. Well, this was a fun episode. Yes, it was. Until the end.
No, it's still fun. So, <laughs> <laughs> Next episode, right? Talk about Tom Brady's <laughs> defensive statistics. How good he is at controlling the ball. Well, hold on. Let's back this up just for a second. Back up the truck. Let's back this up for just a second. So, Jameis Winston threw how many interceptions? 33. Okay. Tom Brady threw how many interceptions 12. in Tampa? 12. Okay. How many possession difference is that? 21. Okay. What was the point difference? 105. Points against, right? Yes. So, Tampa allowed 105 less points yep. than they did the previous season. In 21 possessions. Just by getting rid of Jameis Winston. Yes. And adding a quarterback who won't turn the ball over. Yes. Or is almost physically incapable of turning the ball over. Mm-hmm. Right? Mm-hmm. It's almost physically incapable. Yeah, it was crazy. They played a uh, seven and nine division winner. Yeah, it was a tough one <laughs> in Washington. They uh, Drew Brees threw four picks because that happens all the time. Yeah, one of the most accurate passers in NFL history throws four picks. Well, in his defense, he did basically have broken ribs in every part of his body. In his defense, he had no defense. Like, he couldn't <laughs> stop anyway. Uh, yeah. So and then he. Uh, he beat uh, Aaron Rodgers because LaFleur has no one to go for it. I, If you're Drew Brees, right? What's up? If you're Drew Brees, aren't you looking around at that QB room going into that playoff game and just simply saying to yourself, I can't trust the guys. <laughs> I'm going to do it myself. No. You're like, okay, I have the turnover machine and Tim Tebow's replacement. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll suit up. Give me a flapjack. Tim Tebow is your place. 